Hi, my name is Nathan Kirsch and welcome to my channel. This year, for Halloween, I decided to do a steampunk themed costume. Typically when I'm making my cosplay, I'm working with a lot of sewing fabrics and sculpting with clay and then pouring silicone or latex, but this year it was a little bit different. It was a little more technical, so I used my 3D printer, so I made a lot of technical parts with plastic and I worked a little bit with leather and a lot of EVA foam, which was a lot of fun. I love the steampunk style, particularly the materials. The, le the leather, the metals, especially brass, the mechanics with gears and all the mechanical parts is something that's really appealing to me. So that's why I was excited to make this, this style of costume this year. Another thing that was different this year is instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, I found a source that got me a good head start on this costume. I found a, a guy on YouTube that, that makes the steampunk style costumes and a lot of hats and goggles and all kinds of cool stuff and I started with the templates that he sells. Also, since this is my first year with the 3D printer, I was really excited to use that. So I was able to use a lot of free online resources such as Thingiverse to find the parts that I wanted for my costume too. I essentially made two different costumes. I made two hats, two pairs of goggles, a few different 3D printed accessories, and then a shoulder piece. I had a lot of fun making this costume this year, and I hope that you decide to go ahead and try to make one yourself too. If you find this video helpful or inspiring in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Thank you. So this is my workspace that I have set up. It's on my porch. There's lots of natural light. It's good for taking the videos and photographs. There's lots of space. I store my materials out here, such as this EVA foam that I'll be using a lot in this project. So here's, here's where I got a lot of my inspiration from. It's a YouTube channel called Lost Wax. I highly recommend you go check it out. This guy, Chris Hubert, he is great. He's very creative. He has some amazing content and he actually makes templates. So it's very easy to make the stuff that he, he uh, posts and creates. So what I did, I used some of his ideas as inspiration and I, I basically built the hat based on his template and I did the, a couple other pieces that were almost identical to what he had. I just put a little twist on them for my costume.
This guy is so awesome. He even has stuff that he posts on Thingiverse. So for the fan for the hat, I was able to just go right onto Thingiverse and print it right on my 3D printer. The slicing software that I use is the Utilimaker Cura. It's free, it's online, and it's really easy to use. So the 3D printer that I have at home is an Ender 3 by Creality. The thing is awesome. I first learned how to use it at the local makerspace that I went to where they had about 13 of them and I just loved it. It's simple, it's, it's pretty basic, but you could do so much with it and it's inexpensive that anybody could own and I just love it. So if you're interested in getting a Creality Ender 3, it's a good entry level 3D printer for anybody. So after I printed the fan, I kind of got hooked on Thingiverse, and I kept finding more steampunk accessories, including this one that I found that I just loved. It's so awesome these days that you could just go online, you can find stuff even for free that you could just print out at home. So I printed all my parts in uh, PLA, just basic, basic filament. And then after that, I, I got to I got started on doing all the finishing. I did some painting on everything and a little bit of assembly too. To glue my pieces together, I use super glue and a little bit of accelerator. This mechanical iris is something else I stumbled on on Thingiverse. I, I thought it was just so cool and it ended up being one of the focal points of this outfit. So I got back on the 3D printer and started printing parts. The steampunk costume is so much different than my previous costumes. Usually I'm working with silicone and fabric, but this year was a lot of technical 3D with PLA and EVA foam. So here I am assembling the mechanical iris. and I, I didn't really find any good videos online about how to assemble a mechanical iris and I had no idea how it worked but I was able to figure it out so here you go if you were trying to build one So my next step was to paint everything with black. I used acrylic paints and just coated everything. Fortunately, I'm really fast at painting. Just kidding, I sped up the video so it's not so boring. So 
So this is another tip I got from the Lost Wax YouTube channel. It's a, uh, a brand of paint that looks really nice for the steampunk. It's Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, and it looks excellent, and it's easy to use. The three colors that I used were silver, vintage brass, and antique bronze. So just like any other painting, just use your own techniques. Try things, see what works. For me, I use the combination of just rubbing the paint out with my fingers, a little bit of dry brushing, using different colors until everything just looked right. It's just trial and error. After all the parts were painted, then I started my final assembly. I found it pretty fascinating how a mechanical iris works and how it all goes together. I'm personally a visual learner, so I'm just going to be quiet and let you watch how it, how it was all done.
well after everything is assembled I tried it out I tried to make it work a little bit easier with a little bit of lube what I used was it's called fluid film it's a lanolin which is a uh, it's it's derived from from sheep wool and it helped it to work a little bit easier Here it shows me doing the final assembly for the, the hat fan. As you can see, I almost made a big mistake. super happy with how they turned out everything printed really nicely and and the colors I think look excellent 